Look, I, I just worked the front. That's all I'm supposed to do. I've, I've actually, I haven't been back there in years. I don't know any more than that. Why are you doing this? I'm not part of their crew. Crew? Fuck. The Crooked Man's people. Jersey Devil, D and Dumb, and that mental case Bloody Mary. Y you want to talk about the real butcher? <laughs> it's her, not me. This is her place. I'm telling you, they muscled in on me. Took over my storage and delivery a long time ago. All cause of that heat wave. That summer was even hotter than this one. Oh, I'd let Mary and those porkers stay cool in the meat locker one day, playing cards, having a great time. I guess they were sizing the place up. Shows what I get for being nice. I'm just a victim in this. I don't know what they do back there. I swear. A and I don't want to know. I'm not allowed to know. It's all right. I believe you. Calm down. I knew this would happen. Didn't know when. There would be the day. Big... Is this place? I told you, Big P. I don't know. They muscled me out. I swear, I don't know anything more. I haven't been back here when it was like this. Warning lights. It's business. It's all I've ever had. I guess that's why I stuck around when they took it. Damn it. You can't act like you're forced into this and then turn around and help them. Still be here if you hadn't flipped that switch out there. I had to. Huh. You come in here making trouble for me, but you only give a shit now because the crooked man stepped on your toes or something. Where were you when they took this place from me? It hasn't been easy for me. You, you think I want to live with this at my back? I needed help. Well, I'm here now. I'm gonna sort this all out. So this is what Beast was delivering. Glamours, other kinds of magic. Could be dangerous stuff. What are they making here? I'm just a butcher. You want to talk T-bones? <laughs> that I can do. This stuff is out of my league. There are a lot of nasty spells you can make with the right equipment. James. Who's getting chained up here? You can't think I'm the only one the crooked man has under his yoke. Is this what those loans get you? That crooked piece of shit. Ribbons, chains, it's... it's all the fucking same. Had they had time to erase it all. This could have been useful. Maybe. symbol. It's on all the packages. What is it? That's the crooked man's, uh, brand. It's on everything that goes in and out of here. So you do know something, huh? Is that a, a wheel or what? I 
Guess they never used that thing on wolves, huh? What's that supposed to mean? It's from back in the homelands. A torture device. It came over here with the rest of our stories. Not that Mondays need any help coming up with that kind of thing. It makes people crooked. By breaking their bones and... Do I really need to explain this? What the hell is that? I know this isn't your coat. What's it doing here? It's a coat. What's the big deal about some dirty... Looks like Crane's. It's seen some abuse. I'm sure he handled it just fine. No time for traveler's checks, huh? He won't be needing this anymore. That sick piece of... Shard. It's the shard. Finally. Hey, hold on. I told you what I knew. And look what you did to me. You're just as fucked up as they are. You really still are the big bad wolf. Is this what you do? You just go around ruining Fable's lives, tormenting people? You should have just stayed home, spent the day chain smoking. I got a little hot. I'm sorry, okay? I'm sorry. What the hell am I supposed to do now? I'm gonna have to spend the rest of my short life looking over my shoulder for Bloody Mary. They won't care that I held up my end. There's no way to get out of this. Report to the business office. Tell Snow I sent you there, and we'll, uh... We'll figure something out. Some kind of protection. You're going to protect me. I don't care who killed the prostitutes. I don't care who killed the prostitutes. If Crane was helping himself to the community coffers, it means his hand was in my pocket, and you just let him go! I don't know what you heard, but it didn't happen like that. Are you denying the facts? Uh, she's denying me the chance to get a word in. Now, Miss White, oh, Sheriff Bigby has returned. Ah, oh, there's the old wrecking bowl himself. Bigby, where have you been? I'm not finished here, Miss White. You will have to wait. <sighs> just one moment, please. Look what I found. Seems your dog wants a biscuit. I'm not in the mood. And you've got a lot to answer for. Oh, really? Buffkin, get this piece in the mirror right away. With pleasure, Miss White. <sighs> Finally, things are swinging back in the right direction. Good work, Bigby. You've been gone all day. What did you uncover? I thought you were going to report back to me. I mean, it's fine. So what else did you find out? Once the mirror's fixed, we can use it to find that crooked bastard. Or at least wherever he hangs his hat. That's how Crane kept tabs on him. And everybody else. I'd say he was abusing the privilege. He was probably spying on all of us. He was probably spying on me. Anyway... No, it's fine. You did excellent work, Bigby. Sheriff, I could use your assistance. Would you join me at the mirror? Don't go far, Sheriff. I'd like to have a few words of my own with you. Unbelievable. Why'd you put the hurt on Flycatcher? Were you 
hiding something down at the Tweedles? Or was it just for fun? He worked for them, didn't he? I couldn't be sure that he wasn't involved, and I didn't want him interfering. I was simply endeavoring to make the search a speedy one. Surely you of all people can't fault me for getting overzealous in the process. I don't buy it. I have more important things to deal with right now. You can be sure that we're gonna have a long fucking talk about this when I'm done. I do so enjoy our talks. I'll wait with bated breath. I don't understand. This piece just doesn't want to join the rest. Do you have any idea why? You got me. Well, where did you find it? What has it gone through since being separated from the rest? Shattering is a very traumatic experience, you know. So this process can be a little touchy. It helps that I have a good working relationship with the mirror. And I don't mind speaking in rhyme. Crane was carrying it. Part of the night, at least. I found it in his coat. It's uh, pretty amazing it's still intact after the fight, the kidnapping, and then riding around with Bloody Mary for an hour. Uh, yes, Miss White was asking about her. That explains it. You know who and the mirror have a very unhappy history with each other. Well, how would you like it if she tried to use you as a doorway? I think I already know the feeling. Well, I think I know how to proceed now. It will just take a little extra coaxing, that's all. Thank you for your help. It could be a while, Sheriff. I'll find you when it's ready. Besides which, he might not want to come out with you watching. Oh, he doesn't like being spied on. If you ask me, you're everything that's wrong with Fable Town. Is it fixed? Did you ask about the Crooked Man? Buffkin's still working on it. He said it might be a while. If you're so self-reliant, what do you want from the business office so bad? What I want is my business. I can't take those two right now. We're trying to catch a murderer, and they're... They're over there bickering about bureaucracy. We're at war. Don't they realize that? Do you need some help over there? Yeah, thanks. Go talk to Toad. But just so you know, we can't pay him. He really needs to go to the farm, you know. So, just break the news and be done with it, okay? Toad, come here. I thought I made myself very clear. I see how it is. Passed off to an underling, eh? Why am I not surprised? Well, you did cause what damage brings me in here, so maybe it's for the best. Just need a little bit of dosh to cover it. I tried talking to her about it, but it's like chatting up a brick wall, it is. Now, I'm sure you've got your own agenda, Sheriff, but I've taken a real wallet because of you. Toad, this is the business office, not a bank. You're always talking about glamours, and now it's my responsibility. Well, what about your responsibility? My car, Total, the gaping maw in my wall, any of us sound familiar? I'm not looking for a handout, just what's right. I need it, BB. I didn't throw myself through your wall. I'll ask Woody if you want payback. You good for nothing piece of... The woodsman is broke. You saw the way he was living. Yeah, in your building. You know what I mean. <sighs> Please, I need the money for glamours, Big B. That's all. This isn't exactly a new problem with you, Toad. You know that if you're out of glamour, I gotta send you to the farm. Well, how about your friend the pig, hmm? Is he going to the farm too? Yeah, you thought we didn't know about him, huh? A worst kept secret in fable time. For a friend, the rules will bend. Colin stays out of sight, for Mondays at least. Can you say the same? Fine, fine, I get that. But might I propose a very simple solution? If you give me one more chance and hear me out, I'll see a way for me and me boy to stay. I'm not gonna ask for any more than I need. I just wanna stay. So what do you say, you just give me enough to cover me glamours and we'll call the rest a wash? Please, Sheriff, don't take TJ from the only home he knows. This old glamour rule is oppressive. I've done nothing wrong but look different. But no, it's not right, burdening the weakest of us like this. This world isn't kind to those of us who can't pass for human. Look, I'll try to get you that money and get you another chance, but you have to understand. It's not entirely up to me. 
Oh, thank you, Sheriff.